disabled Knoxville woman couldn't believe it when her food stamp benefits were cut by more than 75% in January. Tammy Barger said she went to the benefits office in Knoxville to find out what happened, but got no answers. So she called six on your side consumer reporter Don Dare, who contacted the state about her benefits. Don. Well, we did, Bo, and it took just a few days for her benefits to be restored. Tammy Barger's income from her Social Security and disability benefits is just over $900 a month. She is fortunate, she says, to live in a government-subsidized apartment, but Tammy, who is divorced, has other expenses, and she depends on those SNAP benefits to help fill a refrigerator. Tammy Barger is grateful for the food she receives daily from Knoxville's Mobile Meals. The deliver meals go a long way on her tight, fixed income of $934 a month. In January of 2023, this notice says her food stamp benefits were $119, down from $151 the year before. In January of this year, her benefits were cut to $23 a month. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the food stamp office to cut my food stamps off like they have. Change in income is the reason for the dramatic cut. Tammy says her Social Security went up, but not that much. When we talked, she didn't have any money left in her benefits card. I can't live like this. I'm on disability. I pay my rent, my lights, my Wi-Fi, my phone, uh, for my dog's pain medicine every month, and one of my doctors. That leaves me nothing. Have you been able to talk with anyone? The number they give you to call, it almost tore my phone up because they tell you to call the number and you do not get hold of nobody. This all is food stamp letters and letters from Social Security and copies of my Social Security card, my ID. Once Tammy gathered these documents, she took the papers to Knoxville's Human Services Office on Middlebrook Pike. I've turned in all the proper paperwork. I even went up there in December when I got this letter and done a whole new application, turned the application in, and I still haven't heard anything. I would like to get some food stamps back. That's what you want to hear from the office? Yes, sir. On behalf of Tammy, Six on Your Side reached out to the state. Their response, they'll have a team review her case. Within a few days, a human services representative called from Nashville. She told me that I'm getting all my back pay from the months that I did not get my food stamps. And then I'm getting a regular amount each month now. $127 is the new amount of monthly benefits, alleviating most of her concerns. I've lost a lot of weight and my health has been really down between health issues and worrying about these food stamps. Tammy says she was told a clerical error had been made that her benefits should not have been cut. Not only is she receiving the $127 a month in food stamps, but the state is sending her back benefits as well. For the months of January, February, and March, her benefits card has been filled with a little more than $300. As Tammy said to us, she is hoping there will be no more clerical errors, Bo.